Welcome to part three of adding windows to our classroom. This is going to be how to put a frame in here. We're going to do a couple of things for this. We are going to create our frame um, outside the building. Okay, this is very easy for us to do and it helps us to kind of put it in uniform and get it all set up correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to click on the baseline down here and I know that my window is 53 inches wide and all right and then I'm going to come in uh, one inch because that frame is only one inch thick and then I'm going to come back towards this line here at 53 inches like so and you can see I'm just creating a basic rectangle all right now the frame itself is an aluminum frame and it's one inch thick it's just like basically a one inch prism um, that's 53 inches long, okay, which is right there. Now I'm going to do something to it. I'm going to grab it and all of it, all right? I'm going to make sure that I have both sides. All right, good. I have all of it collected, okay? So I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and click on it, and I'm going to make it a group. This now means that when I click off it, if I click on any part of it, it's now one massive group. Okay, so I'm it's now like its own thing. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go 50 inches up. All right, 50 inches up. But there we go. And I'm going to hit escape. So now I've got it is going to fit right in there. It's 53 inches across and 50 inches up. All right, so now I can select this group, I can copy it, and I can paste it by hitting copy as Command C or Control C, depending on if you've got a Mac or a, a Windows computer, and, com and Command V or Control V is what pastes it. And I'm just going to grab it and drop it right there because I can move it wherever I want by selecting it, hitting M, and I'm going to grab that corner and I'm going to place that corner right there on that dot. Okay. Now, and that's not really what I want. I want this one. So I'm going to move it from that corner to right there because this is a 50 inch tall window. I'm going to grab that point and hit M because I want that corner to be lined up with that point on the line. And It's not grabbing that point. Why is it not grabbing that point? And I want to move that one to right there. mistakes somewhere, right? I want it to grab. Let's try. Let's try it from this angle. There it is. Don't know why it took that long, but we got it. All right. And so now I'm going to actually make use of that line I created, though. So. Okay. Probably easier if I come at this angle. Switch to hand. All right. So now I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to grab right here and I'm going to come straight down and put a point right there and then come over up 
and over. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to come in this direction one inch and I'm going to come over one inch and so and now I'm going to grab here There's at least that. All right, I don't know why it wasn't working the other way. So I'm just going to grab this line. It should have formed some sort of solid point right there, but it's not doing it. So I just made another point. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to then orbit to this side. Because I made it one inch for my frame, I'm going to then grab, push, pull, one inch like so. Okay. Let me zoom out. I've lost myself. There we go. And there's my frame on this for there. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take this here to here all right i'm going to go now from this corner to this corner connect there there's my son work that way that's what i expected it to do before i don't know why i didn't do it but now i can just go and grab here and come in one inch okay and that's my frame all right it actually even looks that way where the bottom of the frame goes further than the top and and we got it like that okay so now i'm going to once again if you remember i'm going to turn it into one big group by selecting all of it i'm going to hold control click and I'm going to make it a group. So what I've actually done is made a group within a group. We've got those two top frames or a group within this group. Okay. So I can now copy it and paste the group. And I can just place it over here for right now. Okay. Because I'm going to use the move. All right. So I'm going to hit move. And I want to just select right here. All right. Oops. I actually had the wrong... That's fine. I'm going to grab, let's do this. Yep. I'm going to grab right here on this and I'm going to move it. I'm going right here. Now, this is where I use K again. So I should see the inside of my window because I want to place it right along that line right there. Which now, let's see if I can show you. It placed it on the outside of the window, like so. Okay. So I can do the same thing again. I'm going to come here, use my select tool. I'm going to hit M, because I want this particular part of that group. All right. And I'm going to come... I'm going to have to probably, I know I've got the lines there, but it's just easier if I just go like this. All right, go back to move, because I want it to be right there, inside that glass. And escape, and now I've got it placed with the glass in between the frame so beautifully the way it was and if i want to like i said the 
inside, I think, is actually silver. So, of course, I know how to use my materials. Um, I can go over here to materials and go down to metals. Um, and I can choose like aluminum, I think that is. And there you go. It's now metal. Okay. And that is how you add your frame. And now your windows are completely done.